Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 27th, 2023. Well, my goodness, as this month winds down, we have sure been in a month of uncertainty and chop. And today, well, we're going to gap up, it looks like this morning, on the back of meta earnings. And if you take a look at the diamonds here, I'm going to move this line out of the way. Uh, you can see we're popping up or gapping up this morning here on the diamonds. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So first off, we have the di uh, diamonds trying to uh, gap right back up here this morning after a couple of pretty ugly days of selling. And what's been happening here is we've been having that problem with those banks, FRC, being the biggest of the problems but boy if we look at the regional banks that's not the only one that's suffering some issues out here it's the one that's gaining all the headlines but lots of concerns out here on these regional banks we're trying to shrug, shrug that off here in the united states while well we didn't really shrug it off all that much in china or asia markets last night and european markets are a little bit on the mixed side this morning pretty close to the flat line because they are still worried about these banking issues but here in the u.s we've got the pre-market pump going on we're just trying to get things cranked up to the upside and get them moving so if those dot, uh, bulls can find inspiration here on the day well one of the things we want to notice here in this chart is that we broke this price support and I've been talking about that price range here for a while we broke that price support and now that may become the resistance area of the chart so if those bulls find inspiration let's see if they can retest this level right here and maybe even reclaim that level on the day I didn't change this one to uh, this uh, trend break to red yet because we really haven't confirmed whether or not we're going to continue to hold that as a resistance area but if we were to fail back down through here if the bears find inspiration and we push back down and we test support down in here again well then i'm probably going to turn that line to a red line here in um, the diamonds chart now if we look technically in these charts notice that we're very very close to that 50-day moving average and i don't think it could be too hard of a uh, a vision to see that the 50-day moving average could draw us down into that here eventually may not happen today but let's watch carefully for that possibility once we get close to the 50-day it's kind of like a magnet it just really pulls hard on the index so let's keep a close eye on that if we look at our spy quick spy similar situation where we broke down through this price support here in the chart yesterday we broke down through that range bound area broke on through yesterday down through this area of price support and we're trying to gap right back up through it here this morning so with that bullish um, news from meta yesterday we're getting a good pump in the uh, nasdaq and that's certainly helping um, the spy as well because so many of the big techs are now also included in the SPY as well as the Dow. So um, we get one company to move and we can move all three indexes. And that's kind of what we're seeing here this morning. A nice pop up, kind of regaining some of that area of the chart. So if the bulls find inspiration here and continue to push to the upside, what I would suggest is maybe we move on up and we test, retest this resistance up here, see if we can push back through that level. If that is uh, not possible and those bears come back in with the worries on the banks, then once again, I would suggest a retest of this low down in here and then maybe even a little bit lower as we push down. And the reason I would say that 
to test that 50 day moving average here in the SPY. So can't rule out that possibility there for that retest in the SPY. So let's watch carefully for that. And then let's take a look at our NASDAQ, our QQQ um, recovered um, that support level we've been chopping in this level for a full month and can't seem to get out of here. Uh, we chopped back higher in there yesterday, but just couldn't hold it with the regional banks uh, being a worry. We pulled back, we uh, showed another failure of that level last night um, at the close. And this morning we're gapping higher again here on that meta news trying to push back up. Now, one thing I'm going to do is if I extend this area out here, that um, trend line, notice that that could also become a resistance area. So if if we can continue this bullishness in the market, maybe a retest back up in here, some of these levels up in here, retest that, see if we can push on through. If we can, then I would expect a retest up into here on the QQQ. Now, if for some reason those banking uh, concerns really creep back up, then I would look for the bears to take a shot at breaking this level once again. And if they were to break that level, that possibility of us coming down into here. Now, one thing that's on the positive side here in the NASDAQ is if we look at our uh, moving averages, well, we're still with this pop up this morning, we're a ways away from that 50 day moving average. And we still run that risk if those bears really start to work on that banking concern then we could come down here and test that 50 day moving average so you can't rule that out as well let's take a look at our iwm now iwm there is nothing bullish in this chart iwm um, absolutely the most bearish of the indexes out there you can see failing here at the downtrend and price resistance in the chart breaking through support levels this morning we're trying to pop back up but not a bullish uh, picture at all. If those bulls find inspiration here, enough inspiration, let's look for a pop back through that resistance area and maybe even press all the way back up in here, trying to test that downtrend, seeing if we can break through some of those resistance levels in the chart. And if those bears find inspiration, well, you can certainly see the next moves down could be pretty painful. We could be retesting the lows of this year pretty quickly and easily if those bears find inspiration here on the day. So let's watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday kind of registering a little bit of fear, but once again, not enough to be of any concern. Um, uh, our VIX continues to act oddly um, because of the large rise of the zero data expiration options. And you can see we kind of slipped out from underneath that downtrend, but we're still respecting that resistance in the chart. We're still holding below 20 handles in the VIX. No particular fear here, which is really surprising considering that uncertainty that we see in the banks um, as we quickly, quickly, quickly approach May. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is probably our best hope of a relief rally to the upside. And we're certainly getting that with the news uh, from Meta and these big tech reports. So keep an eye on this. We, we reached down here into that bearish um, excuse me, bullish reversal zone. So we've relieved all of that um, kind of overbought pressure in the market. That gives us that best hope in here, I think, of a of, of a nice bounce um, relief rally to the upside. So T2122 definitely signals that we have some upside opportunity. But we also want to keep in mind here, there still is that possibility that those regional banks continue to be a problem that we could move a little bit lower here and 
even retest those 50 day moving averages. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 had a little bit of a rough day yesterday. As you can see, 33.78% of the stocks, around 34% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. And unfortunately, if you look across here, we did break down through some of those support levels that I was talking about yesterday in the chart but i don't think um i don't think we've busted this uh, you know to a point that we should be real fearful here but it is a concern and with a pop-up this morning maybe we can rally back up and we can test some of these resistance levels up in here around the 40 45 percent area of t2108 and then our t2107 T2107 also had a little bit of a rough day pushing on down, um, testing some of these support levels in here hard. Um, as a matter of fact, earlier, right before the close, before we got that pop rally right at the end of the day, we were um, down below these levels. So trying to hold in there on that support level um, on the chart, 39, 40% of the stocks holding above the 200 day it's pretty hard to look at that as just glowingly bullish but at the same time um, since our t2122 is so low i would expect that chance that we could rally back up here toward that 45 46 percent of those stocks um, above the 200 day moving average and then if we look at our t2101 well t2101 did show us that momentum shift here in the market our volume has been coming up with all of the volatility around these earnings let's see if that can follow on through and keep that momentum going to the upside today or if those regional banks come in if, if that kind of falters who knows we'll wait and see then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today boy do we have some data coming our way today first off that economic calendar as you can see we're going to get a gdp report here at 8 30 and unfortunately the the consensus uh, for the GDP is showing a decline. Last time it came in at 2.6. Right now the consensus is suggesting it comes in at 2.0. So a a softening economy um, underway, which is exactly what the FOMC wants to see happen. But let's watch that closely. If that happens to be a miss, um, that could make some market moves occur. And then we've got jobless claims. We know that the Fed wants to see those jobless claims increasing. They want to see those contracting. Right now, consensus is suggesting a modest increase on those jobless claims. Watch that closely this morning at 8.30. Then a little bit later in the day, we've got pending home sales at 10 a.m. We've got a natural gas report. We've got a Fed balance sheet and a few bond auctions to be watching out here. And then as we move toward Friday. Friday, our earnings numbers drop off dramatically, and we are going to hit that personal income and outlays number uh, tomorrow morning before the bell, and that is the Fed's favorite number. We'll want to watch that. There are some reports out there worried that it's possible that that core PCE number could tick higher. We'll see if that's the case. Um, if it does tick higher, that could be a problem for the market. If it stays where it is or even diminishes, uh, market will probably celebrate. And then we've got um, um, uh, employment cost index, the Chicago PMI, which has really been a problem for us here lately, and then the consumer sentiment. Now, I say a problem for us because it shows our economy is extremely weak, but the market is just totally ignoring it. So um, it may or may not be an issue for uh, the market tomorrow on that PMI number. And then if we look at our earnings calendar, oh my goodness, we've got a really busy day today. There's no way I can cover all of these reports, um, but I'll run through a few of them just here very, very quickly. If you guys um, want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you you can get that full list well as i said we're going to have amazon here after the bell today that's going to be one of the biggest notables um atvi is going to be reporting today after that big disappointment yesterday whoops there we go after that big disappointment yesterday in um from the uk blocking 
Microsoft's ability to buy uh, Activision, it sure sold off hard. It'll be an interesting thing to see that report today. We're going to hear from uh, BZH today. We're going to hear from um, Sam today. We're going to hear from Harley today. We're going to catch news from Honeywell. We're going to hear from uh, Kerry Dr. Pepper. We've got uh, Mondelez on tap here today. We're going to hear from Merck. We're going to hear from BTU. Um, in those reports today, we're going to hear from, uh, whoops, there we go, Southern Company. We're going to get information from TSCO. We're going to hear from U.S. Steel and Warehouser and WTW. So we've got a full docket of reports here today, and that's just that's just a small sampling of the numbers coming our way today. So be prepared for lots of potential volatility. Pops, drops, and whipsaws are likely going to be the theme. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please also do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. Thank you so much to everyone who is commenting on the video. That helps a ton. And if you click those thumbs up but buttons and th thumbs up uh, the, the other comments in the channel, that also helps a lot. And I know that's a lot to ask, but I do truly appreciate it. It does take a lot of effort to try and put these videos out every day. So I, I really, really appreciate the support that you provide to the channel. Thank you so much. Let's take a peek at some of these charts that could be setting up. And remember, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas make sure you're paying close attention to your trade rules your guidelines and um, follow your um, risk tolerance rules um, let's take a look at some of these charts and see if there's something in here that might be of interest something you might want to put on a watch list well first off take a look at Roku Roku um, um, had their earnings yesterday and, and, and we initially popped hard on that number um, of Roku and now we're showing a little bit of well not so happy here so watch that close here on Roku we have broken down this support in the chart and so I'm beginning to worry that we are about ready to uh, continue to move on lower so if you're looking for a short trade you might want to take a look at Roku if uh, we are unhappy with those those earnings results so watch that closely let's take a look at um, our US dollar US dollar has been really interesting lately yesterday we gapped substantially lower that was pushing gold and silver higher then we rallied the rest of the day and what was interesting is we also saw our bond yields uh, pushing back up as that concern of um, rates um, continued to drive that and of course the concern of the banking situation out there so watch this a lot of fluctuation going on in here and then, then we've got a, a new chair um, of the Bank of Japan and they're talking about making some changes over there on how they manage um, their risk in bonds and things so watch that closely um, here in UUP, I wouldn't be surprised if we see much, a lot more fluctuation here in the U.S. dollar, and that could certainly affect things like those gold and silver stocks. GLD holding in here on support, I would keep an eye on that. If if that dollar weakens, I would look for that to move up. However, if the dollar strengthens, watch that price support. We could drop pretty hard in here in gold um, quickly if that dollar starts to strengthen. So. Uh, keep a close eye on that. Silver would be another one to watch. Holding in here at support, we need to see that hold or we could get a fairly substantial pullback in silver if that dollar were to strengthen. Let's take a look at um, Spotify. Spotify had a good earnings report 
pop through, pulling back here to support. Now, I honestly think that's a good sign because we had that worry in the market here and we're just respecting uh, that worry in the market. So watch that carefully. If we can hold this support in here, that gives us that opportunity to get a nice low risk entry instead of having to chase these great big pops to the upside. So keep an eye on Spotify. There may be something coming in here. I would watch that one closely. I would also keep an eye on FedEx today. FedEx is going to be an interesting one today. We saw UPS fall off real hard on its earnings report while FedEx held up here well. Now what's going to be interesting today is those earnings reports coming from um, Amazon. Um, as you know, Amazon relies heavily on UPS and FedEx and we're coming into this price support area. So what I would suggest is if Amazon reports well, then I would look for that to maybe inspire some upside opportunity here in FedEx. And you can see we're getting a little hint of upside uh, pop here this morning as well. So let's keep an eye on that. There may be some upside coming here on FedEx. We uh, might also want to keep a close eye on some of these old boring companies like Hershey. Take a look at Hershey. My goodness, these old boring dividend payers are gaining lots and lots of support here in the market. And um, I think it's just that safety. Um, um, I think institutions have to be supporting these pretty hard, looking for a little bit of safety, looking for a little bit of protection heading into the summer and these good dividend yields in the market. And there are a lot of these out there looking really good in that defensive sector. So watch those close. So with that, guys, I'm going to cut this video off. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting the channel. I truly appreciate it. We'll see you right back here on one of our favorite days of the week, Friday. Have a great one, everyone. Wish you all the best.